hidey ho my peeps um i'm getting ready to brew some tea so many people have been doing tea vlogs and tea time videos i thought i would do one of my own um this little shout out to uh lori from lori and sophie she does a tea time tuesday then of course graveyard girl does her tea vlogs i just love her tea get-togethers and there are many other of you um, who are out there doing tea things as well so i thought i'd throw my hat in the ring all right this is my tea setup and if i'm going to be drinking tea all day i make it in this pot because it's so it's because it's big enough to last all day it's evening now i'm not going to make that much tea so i'm going to use this smaller teapot um i like to use my little china cup this silicone thing is to keep uh keep things from crawling into it or falling into it and keep it warmer. I don't normally use it, but I did want to show it to you because I think it's really adorable. Now look at my teas. I have um, an Irish breakfast that I've been using for a while. My friend Prudy Fox sent it to me. I love it. Then all of a sudden today I go to my mailbox and the lovely Prudy Fox has sent me English breakfast, chocolate mint, and Earl Grey. I have my chocolate mint sitting out there. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the uh, teapot because I'm going to do some of this. She says that I haven't tasted the new ones yet. So I thought I'd start with the chocolate mint because it sounds sort of desserty, and it is almost seven, so I'm feeling like something desserty. Um, so the way I brew my tea is I, I put the loose tea leaves in the in the teapot and I put water that is just just beginning to boil like this is. That goes in and let that steep for I don't know a little while between three and five minutes probably and yeah that's about four now what i will usually do is i put about um a tablespoon of honey in just right in the teapot while it's steeping and that's the you know that would be the sweetening for the entire pot would be about a tablespoon Pretty tells me that this has a sweet flavor, so I'm not even going to put any, um, any sort of sweetener in it. What I am going to do, though, I'm going to come over here. Look, hopefully, see, gosh dang those ants. I put some cayenne pepper there to see if it would keep them away, but they are intrepid. They are finding ways to get into my, get onto my counter. It's been about, oh, I don't know, three or four days since we've had um, um, rain. And boy, I tell you what, the ants are just going nuts. Okay, so let's, I got my um, container of, this, this actually is half and half, it's not almond milk. And what I'll do, I'll put about, oh, I don't know, maybe four tablespoons of half and half in this uh, little creamer in the morning. And then I will use that half and half throughout the day. So I still have some left over from yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and, and use that in tonight's tea. So anyhow, this is, this is my setup. Often, um, this is my strainer and obviously I... I'll do like that, then I'll pour my tea into the strainer. But often when I'm having tea during the day, I will have little snackies. So I will have some orange, or I'll have some sliced apple, or carrot and celery sticks, or sliced cucumber, generally. If I've made um, uh, buckwheat cake or little muffins or something sometimes I'll have um, one of those and I use this little tray to put my little snacky things on so there's my tea setup I just wanted to share this with you guys okay everybody um, I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening um, and I am going to have some tea bye